Welcome back everybody, I am Just a Zack and today we are going to have a look at Dungeon Mage. A game where we are a mage going into a dungeon to collect, craft and fight in a somewhat more enter the gungeon slash Zelda like playstyle, a little bit of a hack and slash there as far as I know. I'm recording this pretty much a week after its release and this game is a little bit small, apparently there's only two uh, floors right now, There's we can't enter the third one, not that many enemies and bosses yet, but the game is also free to try, so if you want to check it out, link is as always down below, and it seems like it's gonna be continuously developed, and again for free, not that much to criticize. Before we start, let's have a quick look at the options menu. I turned up the volume quite a bit, the default was I think like 35% on everything, I hope it's still fine. I am still a little bit afraid that it might be a little bit too quiet for you guys. Please tell me that uh, and I'm gonna change it. I can't change it, of course, when the video is live, but you know, uh, I hope it's fine regardless. Let's go maybe background music, I don't know. No, let's just all wrap it up. What could possibly go wrong, right? Maybe that's a bit too much. Maybe like this, like this. Okay, full screen, it says true. Also, as you can see, I am able to play this with a controller. That's nice to see. Full screen, it says true, which is actually a lie because this is not true full screen. This is actually borderless full screen. So if I hover over with my mouth, I go to my second monitor, which is nice. But yeah, that could be a little bit more, up, a bit more accurate, accurate, my God, English. And I would like to have some resolution at the very least. Other than that, I mean, for a free game, Pretty decent stuff here. That said, let's finally hit new game and let's see what it is about. Prison. Oh, that's that's loud now. Okay, never mind. We have to change a few things after. That's always a thing. Um, I would love uh, if the main menu kind of, you know, depicts the sound volume that you also have in the main game. I still think it's too much. Great. That's why everything was at 65% earlier. There we go. Let's try this. Greeting letter. Okay, A doesn't do anything. Oh, a bottle left. Look at this. I'm actually playing this with my uh, with my 360 controller. I love that there is PlayStation control settings. Okay, um, the music. I still need to wrap it up for you guys. Welcome here, Just Zach, where audio quality is very important to me, and I screwed up pretty much every time. Greeting Lekka. So I guess uh, I need to press X instead. There we go. How do I read it again? No. A. Ah. An age has passed. They trapped me in this desolate space. And the relentless march of time has left me a mere echo of my former self. A vice succumb. I urge whoever finds this to take my belongings and carry on where I fell short. Alright. Sure. Is this something? No. Broken sword. Pick up. I have a broken sword, guys. Can I? There we go. Greeting letters. A letter written with kind words. Item created by green pixels running blood. I read something about that there is like, uh, that this is very much community driven. So I guess the items have also been like um, brought in, communicated to the devs by the, via community people. I guess by green pixels and running blood, for example. Or maybe those are the developers, I'm not quite sure. So very weak and feeble, combine it to make it stronger. That's the broken sword. Can I still equip it? Uh, quick slash. It's still here in the bar, though. Quick slash. Doesn't work. Take select. Oh, wait. Do I need to... It's in my hand now, but I can't use it. Broken pickaxe. Can I pick this up, too? I would like to pick up the pickaxe. Why can't I pick up the pickaxe, please? Navigate. Take. Quick slap. Oh. I changed something by pressing B on my button. Interact. Dodge. Use item. Oh! Okay. Even though it said quick slash on the other thing, hmm, broken pickups, damage on ore, so we can craft with that. Take select. I would like to select this. Quick, st ah, quick stack, not quick slash. But I can't, still can't use it. Use the sword. Use the pickaxe. It doesn't. Why does it not work anymore? I would like to equip the X. Now go back, maybe. B. Oh, okay, kind of. So I have to go to the menu, then press B, and now it works. Can the pickups actually do normal damage as well? Apparently not, even though it's technically also a weapon, right? Hmm. Okay, can we go through this door? There is a door, but we can also go to the right. I don't know. The door looks evil. Interact? Okay. Hello? Should I go here? Oh, that, wait, treasure chest. This first. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, like the storage area. I guess this is our hub then. But if this is the hub, what is this? Titan's offering. 
Ooh, cool. Nice Pixar, uh, by the way. Pretty, pretty decent. Hello, sir. There's a mouse hole here. Okay, Titan's offering. Okay, of course we don't have anything to offer. Fair enough. Prison. Can I break these barrels? I can! Beautiful. The camera is very swingy, which might or might not trigger my motion sickness. I'm not quite sure yet. Okay, we can't dash through the vases to destroy them, so it's not a souls like. We have established that. Yeah, the camera is really... Do we have any option to disable that or make it slower? No. So if you're like suffering from motion sickness, this might or might not trigger you. I'm still unsure uh, how to feel about this. It's very much over the place. Wait, how do I go? Oh, I have to interact with the doors. It's so weird that you don't need to go through them, but have to yet, you know, interact with those. What is this? Hello? Baphomet! How are you doing, good sir? My lord! I will serve you. Every time I have to remember that I actually need to pre uh, press a button to go forth. Portal vein chamber. Okay. Aha, zero souls to enter. I, I assume these are souls, I don't know, 120, and this is locked. Again, third stage, probably can't enter this. Second one, and this is gonna be the first one, let's go. Hails of Initiation, okay. So if I destroy these barrels, is there any reason to do it? I mean, nice that we can do it. I did like 10 damage there, I guess there was a crit. And the camera really is a big enemy to me, it's kinda hard as it bounces all over the place to really get a grasp on what's happening on the field. At least for now, it's not much. Not not much is going on on the screen. I'm a little bit worried when there's more gonna happen. But so far, I mean, kinda hard to get an idea how, like it seems the th sword doesn't have that much of a reach as I kinda would like hope to. It seems a little bit broke. Again, I'm running, oh man, I'm actually getting dizzy. Okay, dodge, come on. Okay, you guys dash, there we go. A lot of kiting going on so far. But the attacks from the enemies are pretty decently telegraphed so far. We also have a cooldown on our... Oh, every time. Cooldown on our dodge. Hello, sir. Oh, God, this camera, really. My biggest enemy so far. Okay, let me change. Can we change on the fly? Yes. Maybe it's... I'm gonna try to play this with keyboard and mouse. Maybe this is a bit better. Dodge and right click. Can I just hold the button? Okay, yes, I can. That makes it so much easier. I kept pressing the attack button, but I can just hold it. That's good to know. One, two, three. Oh, ah, 18 damage. Man, they really do a lot of damage to us. Stick. Pick up the stick. E to interact. Okay. Man, feels so much better with the controller. So far, at least. So how do I switch my weapons? Mouse reel. Now we can try to spend five minutes to destroy this rock. Sure. Cool. E. Nice. Got some coal, guys. Yeah, the sword seems way bigger than it actually is. Like, you think you have a decent range with it, but you don't really. How do I look at this? Tastes like dirt, but probably good for your health. Item created by green pixels, running blood, mushroom cap. Okay, how do I use this now? Tag select. No? E, close back. No? I would like to eat the mushroom, right click? No, E. No, drag and drop? Maybe it's a crafting item and I can't consume it. Maybe that's the thing. Okay, close, back to the sword. Okay, this works, fair enough. UI is still a little bit finicky, but maybe I just need to get used to it. Treasure chest. Oh man, classic. Do we only have, can we stack this? Oh, we can't stack it. Well, do we need the ladder? No, so I guess we take one more coal. Can't stack it. Is this our entire inventory? Interesting. So yeah, what I wanted to say, look at this. This is a classic thing I saw in, uh, in a lot of demos. Like the UI element of this pop-up is not adjusted to the screen now. For I think it means ferocious tablet. Hard to read. Maybe if you put it down, there we go. Some is the ferocious goblin captain. Can only be used on the altar. Interesting. So we saw the altar previously, I think. Also, I like like one, two, three, four, five. We can use the quick slot buttons. Would be nice to have a little, you know, number here to actually tell you that you can do this. But it works. That's nice. Oh, that was like the first floor. Okay. So I guess now we go back. How do I regain health? Maybe in here? I mean, we have like a wet status. Submerge. One second. Speed is reduced by 50%. Okay. How do we heal us then? 
So, I don't know, I have a stick. Can I use this? No. Um, this is probably our storage. So, wh what can I do here? Like, seriously, wooden plank. Well, I can pick that up. So, we have coal. No idea what to do with the coal. No idea what to do with the mushroom. It seems like I can't eat the mushroom. Or maybe I missed something, I don't know. So pick this up. So there is a little bit of a reason to destroy these things, because sometimes there's crafting ingredients in here. Wait, where's the wooden plank that I picked up? I have a stick. There was clearly a wooden plank before. And apparently I did not put my stick in here. Oh, there's the wooden plank. Okay, I'm an idiot. Fair enough. Can I saw this now? Wooden plank. Sturdy and strong. Great for building. Item created. Okay, and this changes for whatever reason. So if I change this... Zero soul. I... Ha! Huh? So I need... This is apparently not what I create, but it's like a saw, right? What if I put this in two? No. Okay, that's not clear to me at all what I'm supposed to do here. I mean, I played a lot of crafting games. Kind of weird, like... May, I guess we need a lock as well, or maybe just two locks, and the wooden plank doesn't work, or maybe we need two. I guess that's the thing. So I guess I don't need you. Oh! 50s. Oh, I guess I just sacrificed the stone, and the other one was to actually summon the captain, maybe. So we have 76 souls, but we need 120 to reach the other plane, right? Yeah, I guess this is where I could have summoned the captain. But how do I gain m money now? So if I die, is that it? Do I need to try to stay alive? What's the story? We are in this dungeon, but there hasn't really been a story get up whatsoever. So what's the reason we are doing any of this? Have we been trapped? A little bit like the slightly um, introduction would be nice. That seems to be the exact same dungeon as before. 18 damage. Okay, you know what? I want to find out what happens if we die. Didn't play that well anyway. So do we... We are back here, fair enough. We still have our souls, so we didn't lose them. We still have our items, so... There doesn't seem to be, like, any punishment at all for dying. So why not replenish my HP then, when I do a run here? What's the reason for that? Is this meant to, like... Can I drop down here? Dodge? No, we can't jump over or dodge over it either. Okay, man, this sword's reach is like literally, you can't tell this a sword, this is like a tiny poke dagger. Like seriously, it looks so much bigger than it really is. What a scam. I mean, it's a broken sword, but man, a broken dagger would be more appropriate. A broken fingernail, maybe. The thing is, usually I'm the type of guy who destroys like every pot, every crate in these types of games. The thing is, I here in this game you need to hit them like for like 20 times. And that's a little bit too much time for me to really bother about it. So, not the biggest fan of this, frankly. Even though, just for a slight chance to maybe get an item, you know. That's not good enough for me. But playing with mouse and keyboard actually feels better with the camera. In comparison to the controller. One, two, three, four. Oh, man. There we go, got you. I'm so afraid of these guys. There we go. Well, let's destroy a little bit. Of course, we didn't get anything. Okay, here we go. Treasure chest. Okay, we have boots. Hems boots. Makes you run incredibly fast. Passive boost. Above, sorry. Okay. Empty vial. Can be used to mix and store potions. Okay. So we have this buff now. Another mushroom cap and a worm bait. Two in one delicacy. Nourishment for body and uh, body and fish. Okay, we also have 99 souls. And now we're back. Again, our HP doesn't seem to replenish for... I, I wonder why. What's the reason for this? So it seems like, again, like... But there's also, like, no item here, right? If I put in the worm... We can't bust out the worm. I'm a little bit disappointed. So there's a potion and a... Maybe this. Ah, 50. Oh, okay. So it is a building crafting table. I guess maybe that's the idea. I thought I this is just to process wood, right? But it's also an alchemy table. I guess that's why there's a potion. That's not that clear to me. But okay. 
We now have a small rejuvenating potion. A strange mixture that makes you feel calm and at inner peace. So I guess, yeah, it also says this is a consumable, so I guess this helps us to regain health. What the hell? You have to be very precise to actually switch these items. There we go. So we are fast over the boots. I guess I picked this in here. Where's, huh? Where's the worm? Oh, I, I somehow dropped down the worm. I guess because I, I clicked on it directed down here, maybe. So I want to try this again with the crafting table. So if I put you in, we need a lock or like some kind of stone. I think with a stick, it's the same, right? What about coal? So if I put coal in here, we need like, I don't know, crystals or maybe is that a mushroom too or a fish? Like maybe cook the fish or something like that, right? Just to make sure this doesn't seem to work. It seems like we can... Okay, let's try this. Okay, first of the mushroom with the coal. Boop, boop. Three salts. Okay, we have cooked mushroom cap. Crunchy with a taste of dirt. Interesting. Okay, we have the worm. So if I combine the worm now with a stick. Doesn't work. Okay. So that looks kind of like a worm, but it's different. So if this is bait... A body and fish. Does it mean we can actually, you know, go fishing here in the game? Or the fishing rod, maybe? But why would I take the potion? The potion right now doesn't make any sense, because again, this is a very small run so far. If we die, we don't lose anything at all. So I guess I should still try to get these enemies, because we want to reach the second floor, right? So guys, I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit and see you in a second, once we make a little bit of progress. Oh, this time it's a tree here. Interesting. Okay, let's use... Maybe it's faster if I hit these things with pickaxe. Oh, might be. Because the pickaxe is faster. Okay, we have a tree. Hit the tree with the pickaxe and see... Worm bait, untreated wood. And another broken pickaxe. Oh, did I throw it away? Oh, you can eat the worm for 1 HP. Nice. Okay. We're getting closer. I have better wood. Maybe I... Oh, wait. Can we go crafting table and use maybe this? What if I put in the sword? There's only this symbol, which we don't have right now. But maybe with that, if we have whatever that is, we can upgrade our material, right? What did I need for this again? Like a stick? And was it... Oh, ah. God. There we go. Does this work? Nope. Oh, I keep losing these items. <laughs> okay, was it this way? Because <laughs> it seems like the game can't decide if it wants to be click and click again or drag and drop. It seems to be, but it, it's just a small thing, but it could be a little bit smoother, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, five swords. Now we created a workbench. Oh, look at this. Used to combine items into stronger ones. Use. Aha, look at this. Wait, it's the it's the same thing we have. So why did I do this in the first place? Okay. Well, we made a workbench, guys. Maybe with the coal to like smolder it or something. Oh, come on. I have to click like a bazillion times and it doesn't work. Can I just keep it in there? Apparently I can. All right. All right, I'm gonna skip ahead again and I see you in a second. We managed to get enough of the swords to enter the second stage. What, 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 uh, what I'm gonna do is now, I'm gonna go in here and let myself purposely be killed. Cause I don't wanna enter the second stage with like f five HP or whatever little we had. I kinda said that this first goblin statue, I hope it reappears. That we kind of wasted it and sold it instead of using it, right? Yeah, again, there doesn't seem to be any punishment, but actually, you know, a reward by dying. Because you are back at full HP. We didn't lose a single soul, no item. Let's go, 120. Ominous Grotto. Right. The question is, do we need to pay 120 every single time? Oh, 12 damage. That's a lot. Let's try to get you... Ow! Okay, you actually telegraphed your attacks. Pretty decent. Man, you have a lot of HP, buddy. We need upgraded items here. Okay, you keep dashing. Hey, we did a crit. Oh man, that's gonna... Ow! Take a while. Maybe I should have taken some healing items for this. Maybe this is where the gameplay actually gets, you know... Uh, how did I not hit the thing there? 
Man, I would love to hit them Ugh! both at the same time. Again, this sword's reach is like, like <laughs> nothing. Like oh, how you would guess on a visual level here. I tell you guys, broken sword is a scam here. I really need a proper weapon. Oh, come on, I'm so afraid of these guys. I want to die. I'm actually, so far how this game represents us, I actually wouldn't be surprised that we now need to pay 120 souls every time we want to enter the stage, which would of course be um, an interesting mechanic, but if we lose immediately, it would be very punishing. So let's try to prevent this. Okay, come on. There we go. Got you. Didn't die. Pickaxe out here. Let's try to destroy one of these pillars. Maybe that does, I don't know, something. 64 HP at the very least. Okay, nothing, of course. Worm bait! Yay, 1 HP. Okay, there's more stuff, but again... Yeah, coal. But so far, we didn't really get... A, we don't have a reason to get coal, so let's just ignore this. Oh, more grave. Okay, this time it's two. That could be... Oh, God. No, no, 30 damage! Are you kidding me? Did both of them hit me? Oh! Okay. Can I just go? No! Okay, we need to defeat the enemies to actually go to the next stage. Alright, we have 30... So let me guess, now we need to pay 120 again. Let's see. Oh no, we do! Oh no, that's gonna take some time. Well, we have this, I managed this, copper ore and coal. I'm gonna combine this for copper ingot, okay. And now we can use the copper ingot to improve our sword if we have 30 souls, alright. I'm gonna try this, guys. And I want this goblin statue again, which we had previously. Okay, see you in a second. Time to upgrade the sword! Broken sword! Oh, that's the wrong item. Copper ore. Boop. Boop, 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 30. Da -da -da -da. We have a copper sword, a great blade for a great start. Damage on enemies, 15. Damage on objects, 15. Critical chance, 5%. Critical damage, 150%. That certainly is an upgrade. Also, we have coal. And this, and this, oh, 15, but we would be able to um, pick up, <laughs> upgrade the pickaxe, there we go, English. So, we still need this for more copper and stuff. All right, oh, a little bit more grinding, here we go. I killed myself again to restore HP. Please don't try that in real life, I'm a certified professional. That said, the reason is, I want to store this in here, I'm gonna take this healing potion, maybe the salves and the healing fruit, and we're gonna take this now. I got another tablet, summon the ferocious goblin captain, uh, captain. so we're gonna take this and try to use it over here at the table of offerings and see what happens. Are you a boss or are you a friend? Probably boss. Also, I have a throwing knife, which is kind of cool, because you can throw it, just like that. Okay, there we go, boss time. Oh, 35 damage! Oh. Don't get body checked again. Even with the upgraded sword, the range is just... Kind of feels like a lie, almost. Huh. Eat! Oh no! I want to pick up my knife, but again... Oh. Dodge! Throwing knife! <laughs> 25 damage. The knife actually feels pretty cool. I think I would maybe prefer if we have like a cooldown or so. Oh man, I have the pickaxe, that's why I'm losing. But as an idea, pretty cool. On the other hand, you have, are kind of forced to pick it back up, which is also cool, so hard to tell. So that's definitely, it feels also the best so far in the combat. I really like the throwing knife, not gonna lie. Okay, you shoot from time to time, hit, hit. I'm gonna play this, uh, this safe. Oh great, so much for safe. Standing in the corner. Throwing knife. Ah, oh, God, I'm not playing smart. I'm really, I'm not. Oh, dodge! If I'm gonna lose this, it's gonna be embarrassing, not gonna lie. All right, guys. Oh, get him. Oh, throwing knife! There we go. Almost got him. We got him! We gain the Goblin Piercer. What is this? Range weapon passed down for generations. Damage on enemies 30, damage on objects 30, critical chance 50%, critical damage 250%. So it's another throwing thing, I suppose? Yes. Well, it's at least some kind of reward. I wonder if we get, can get like different rewards from this enemy then. But we did gain a reward, that was kind of cool. And also a bunch of souls, which are important for the next stage. The thing is, the smartest thing to do at this point is still 
to go in here. We still have the healing potion, but it's run gonna run out in a second. So the smartest thing is to just stand still here for a second, which I did before as well. Drink a little bit of my coffee, so uh, sound ASMR warning here. Ah. So now we regenerated. That said, that means now we can try stage two with a slightly better upgrade than before, so that's nice. We still need to pay 120. Also, yes, I managed to craft a new chest. So here we go. Oh, the spiders! Okay, I should have taken some healing items. I'm not sure if I have any. Why did I pick up all the spiders? Well, I can hit them. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of throwing items! Oh, there we go. One down. Get... Ugh. Oh, there we go. Oh, yes. I really like the Goblin Piercer. Still something I feel like the process of throwing, picking up items could maybe be slightly enhanced. It's hard to tell because you need to run away. Enemies are kind of smart. You have to press the right button to select the weapon and then maybe like a quick bu or button to quickly throw your items or so would be nice. Something like that. I don't know. But again, could be a little bit smoother maybe, but it does feel good overall. That's I have more fun throwing items than actually sl uh, slashing at things. Gotta admit, it was 75 damage there. Really like the Goblin Piercer. It's so good. Okay, let's start. Wait, let's try. Whoosha! Critted the other one. Nice. 75 damage and a crit fits so good. Oh, again! Oh. Sometimes you just want to slash and then your whip uh, hit, hit me! But then, you, again, you have to select it every time individually. That said, let's go over here. We have 54 souls. Oh, it's okay. On. I want to hit both of them. Yes, double crit. Beautiful. Man, Goblin Pierce is so good. Huh. Got him. Go away. Go away, please. Huh. Uh, don't be there. Knife. Hit him. Hit him. Huh. Throw. Oh. <laughs> Where did I throw? Where did I throw it at? Wow. Oh, no. Yes, we did it. Okay, kind of need to get to my items here. Can still use the upgrade pickaxe now on these gravestones for... Not really any reason, really. Maybe here. Mushroom cap. I think, can we eat it? No, I think this is... Oh, yes! Okay, actually, it's five. Okay, some coal. Second floor definitely is big. I... Bigger, sorry. Okay. Oh, wait, this is the reward slot, uh, thing. So I guess this is like silver or something like that. Let's go. Raw iron. Okay, fair enough. So now we can probably use this with the, with the coal. We still need to now go back to the first floor to grind more souls. Oh man, not sure what to think about this. Regardless, we have coal, we have iron. So let's make some iron ingot. 30 souls. Copper sword, this, 60. Okay, I want to see. Oh, could we upgrade the goblin piercer? That would be cool. No, we can't. Okay, last mission. I want to upgrade this. See you in a second. Time to make an iron sword! Copper sword! Iron! 60 souls! There we go, we have an iron sword. Damage on enemies, 23. Damage on objects, 23. 5% crit chance for 150% critical damage. And then we rinse and repeat, because now I paid 60 souls. That means trying to get to the second stage takes even longer now. But we are stronger, so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna... Two hit them if we land a crit. Or maybe just like that as well. Nice. Yeah, rinse and repeat. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dungeon Mage. Please tell me what you think. Um, I mean, it's a free game, right? Which is pretty cool. And that adds to that. I like that we can kind of grind for these goblin items and then spawn them or trade them, uh, them in for slightly more souls. But, you know, I hope the goblin also has more different cool equipment, for example. Hey, some healing stuff or so. Not really useful. And then rinse and repeat, get more souls. We need to get to 120. I guess we could probably sell a few things to the Bermuda statue on the right side. I'm pretty sure we can't sell the slime cores, which I have quite a few of. And yeah, rinse and repeat. A little grindy. Um, chopping down ore takes a surprisingly long amount of time. It's hard to tell. It's a free game. And the core gameplay loop, I think, is actually a very good foundation. And there is something fun here. 
I really enjoy the uh, on the combat side uh, definitely the throne mechanic that's kind of cool and the overall idea you know we have our hub world we go back into the dungeon grind get more stuff improve our character improve our hub and rinse and repeat sometimes fight a boss or so for uh, more risk but more reward sounds in interesting as well it still feels very rough and of course this is only the second stage there's going to be more um, but yeah it's a small rough game with certainly a bunch of potential not gonna lie so yeah solid i would dare to say and we need to maybe keep an eye on for this down the road or maybe for a full game that sometimes down the road might come out of this one that said please tell me what you think of the game stay awesome and we see each other in the next video